Yahuwah is a Hebrew black man, and they changed his color to white, a whitewashed history, and I have proof from the scriptures to prove that. This man is not Yahusha. This is Caesar Borgia, a pope's uh, son, a former pope's son, that was depicted as the Messiah. Here's proof. Here's another picture of the Savior that was depicted as white. That was actually from Caesar Borgia. This is from Daniel 10. And his body was like beryl. And his face like the appearance of lightning. And his eyes like torches of fire. And his arms and feet like polished bronze in appearance. Okay, and I'm going to show you what polished bronze looks like after I show this next verse. This is from Revelation. And his feet like burnished brass, as if refined in the furnace. Okay, now I'm going to show you what uh, burnt brass looks like, okay? This is burnt brass. Okay, look how dark that is. And I'll show you guys a couple images. But look how black it is, right? That's some brass um, vessels right there. And here's brass compared to a black man's hand. Take a screenshot if you feel like it. Now I'm going to show you proof that his disciples and children were Hebrew descendants. This is from uh, King of Solomon. Song of Songs, Song of Solomon. I am dark, but lovely, O daughters of Jerusalem, like the tents of Kidar. Like the curtains of Shilamo. Do not look upon me. Because I am dark. Because the sun has tanned me. My mother's sons were displeased with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards. My own vineyard I have not kept. I just want to quickly interject right here. Um, uh, in the Song of Solomon, uh, when they were talking about the dark skin, they were talking about... Uh, the woman, the woman that Solomon truly loved. This is the one he should have married, the only one, but he married six hundred wives. So that's a whole other story. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that Solomon wasn't uh, black or from or Hebrew or from dark or or dark complexion. I'm just saying, um, as this young man was telling this story, he said it was Solomon, but that was actually the woman they were in love. The Song of Solomon was like a love story. Um, it, you sh you could you should read it. Um, and I, I'm not going to like tag him. He may come across his video because I think he followed me, but um, only because uh, I believe that some of his teaching is off. And I believe that that's one of my criticisms of the Hebrew camps, um, that some of their theology is off. And so there's bad teaching out there. Um, no shade to this man. Uh, most of this stuff is accurate. And I do believe I just, you know, I, I obviously, you know, I, I know that I'm Hebrew now and um you know, most people who are from the transatlantic slave trade um, were Hebrews because Africans didn't sell Africans. Africans sold Hebrews. And so um, also if you're Native American, Native Americans are Hebrews. Um, a lot of people from Hispanic descent, uh, Dominican, Haitian are Hebrews. Um, and I think even... Um, uh, Ethiopian, they're, we're all over, we're scattered all over. We are the ones that line up with the scripture. The people that are in um, Jerusalem right now do not line up. It doesn't line up with the scripture. And another thing you guys should know is that, um, so when, when the Hebrews would flee, they always went to Egypt. If the people that are in Israel right now that are claiming to be the real Hebrews that are taking our land, um, then those people would stick out like a sore thumb. When Jesus was born and his people fled to Egypt to protect him, he wouldn't go to Egypt because he couldn't blend in if he looked like them. Um, anytime uh, we fled or we were trying to hide, we went to Egypt because we had, those people were had darker skin. So, you know, everything was a lie. Um, 
uh, Jesus was, was dark skin. Uh, we were made in God's image. So if you want to give God a color, you can give him that color. Um, and I know people try to say, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, we're all engrafted. If it didn't matter, then why did y'all change the color in the first place? And why wouldn't it matter to a people to wake up and know who they are? And why, when someone needs to find out who they are and find out their history and their heritage, all of a sudden it doesn't matter. So just stay out of this one. Anybody that thinks has to say, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, we're all the same. You might want just just stay out of this one. All right. Let people find out who they are. Let people find their identity before you go off and tell someone it doesn't matter. You know your roots, your history. And then when people are trying to figure it out for themselves, all of a sudden it don't matter. Y'all wild. Anyway. Feel free to look at this image and take a screenshot. This is also from Laminations. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. So he just flat out told you our skin was black. Right? People will say because they were black, that does not mean they were Hebrew. Well, I'm going to show you proof they were Hebrew. This is from Jonah 1. And he said to them, I am a Hebrew. This is Jonah. And I am fearing Yahuwah, the mighty one of the heavens, who made the sea and the dry land, the earth. And here's a reading from Genesis. And one who had escaped came and informed Abraham or Abrim, the Hebrew. The Hebrew, I mean, that, that, that's more, that, I it can't get more obvious than that, guys. Right? This is a reading from Exodus. And opened it and saw the child and see the baby wept. So she had compassion on him and said, this is one of the children of the Hebrews. And this is from Exodus, okay, guys? And they shall listen to your voice, and you shall come, you and the elders of Israel, to the sovereign of Mitzrium, and you shall say to him, Yahuwah, the mighty one of the Hebrews, has met with us. Yahuwah, the mighty one, of the Hebrews. This is also from Exodus, Exodus 9. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Moses, Rise early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say to him, Thus said Yahuwah, the mighty one of the Hebrews, Let my people go so that they serve me, so that they serve me. Yahuwah, the mighty one of the Hebrews. And here's some proof that the disciples actually spoke Hebrew. Because people think that the Hebrew translations aren't correct for some reason. But they are correct. The King James Version and all those versions are the ones that are not correct. Now I'm going to show you guys proof. This is Paul. And having given him permission, Paul, that's Paul, standing on the stairs, motioned with his hands to the people. And when there was a great silence... He spoke in the Hebrew language. He spoke in the Hebrew language. Paul spoke Hebrew. This is from Acts 26. And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew language, Shalu, Shalu, Paul, Paul, why do you persecute me? It is hard for you to kick against the prods. Right? And they said this to him in the Hebrew language. This is from 2 Corinthians 11. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they of Israel? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. They're Hebrews. Shalom, everyone. Please do not be deceived when you guys see these JC pagan white images. The creator was a Hebrew, dark-skinned man. And scripture proves it all. Hallelujah, everyone. Shalom, everyone. Barak Yahuwah. Have a good day. Like the video if you want. Follow if you want. Shalom, everyone.